So this is a Hitachi excavator, and these uh, the tracks on these are driven hydraulically. So there's a, a hydraulic motor of some sort, I don't know if it's an orbit or something else on the back here that drives that. I'm sure there's a planetary in there too to gear it down, but and then just an idler at the front. So there, since the engine's up on the top part, in order to get the uh, hydraulic power to the wheel motors, there have to be hoses running down through here. Well, since this thing pivots, the question would be if you just ran hoses, you could only turn the, the bottom part around one or two times. So somebody figured out kind of a genius way to do that, and in here is a set of four hoses that run down, and there's a hydraulic spool down in here right at the center that the whole thing pivots on. So here from the top side, if you look down here, there's these four hoses, uh, two for the left and two for the right, and then there's actually a little one that comes off there too. So there's five lines that run down through this spool. And that's what transfers the, the hydraulic oil down to the wheel motors. And then uh, I've got a spool in the shop here that'll show you that you can see how it works. So that uh, you can spin the tracks around and around forever. There's no hoses to get tangled up. So this is the spool. This is actually a bad one we had to pull out of that machine I just showed you. And you've got four orifices on the top and there's one on the side. Anyway, these uh, orifices, each one of them, like this one here, there's a hole drilled down inside the, the spool, and then it comes out right here. And so there's these different lands on this spool. And this piece gets mounted to the, the top half of the excavator. And this is the piece that's mounted to the bottom half of the excavator where the tracks are. So inside there's uh, areas for that spool to, for the oil to go around the spool. And then on the sides, there are uh, ports to go to the track motors, to those wheel motors. So that's how this is, allows the, uh, the whole system to rotate infinitely. There's no hoses to bind up. It can spin the, that track base around and around and around. There's actually a that fifth port which is one of these, I'm not sure which one probably this one, it's bigger. That one's drilled through the dead center of the thing and comes out on the bottom and then on the, on the plate that goes on the bottom of this piece is this thing which has an orifice in it as well. It's kind of like the pressure bleed off return to tank line for those orbit motors. It's a pretty slick little idea.